Hi guys, welcome to another video here on this channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Lakia and welcome to the Chaotic Critic family. For my returning subscribers, welcome back. Here on my channel, I share planning and organizational videos, plus so much more over on my blog, chaoticcritic.com. The link is always in the description box. Today's video is going to be a fun one. I'm going to be sharing how I'm setting up the Erin Condren Summer Petite planner journal and I received this in the surprise box. I do have not only a full overview of the surprise box but a full review of this petite planner and I wanted to take it a step further and share with you guys how I plan on using it as well as me starting to set this up. So it does come with the sticker sheet where you can add these. It even says it here, add these to your monthly calendar. I'm going to go ahead and just set it up for June. I was thinking, should I save this until next year? Should I, do I have a lot going on this summer? I don't have any, you know, lavish vacation plan. I'm really just low key this summer. And I am tired of hoarding things in my planner stash so I'm gonna go ahead and use it this summer there are a lot of positive and fun things going on my second to youngest sister is graduating from high school she'll be going off to college this fall my other my youngest sister is home from boarding school my brother and I we have a sports podcast together my nephews are always doing something and why not reminisce because there's a lot of journaling prompts in here that reminisce on previous summers but also goal setting and how I'm feeling now so I thought that this would be the perfect time to go ahead and just jump right into this instead of waiting so it is June it's basically mid-June and I'm just gonna go ahead and put in all of the number dots that are a part of this. I'm thinking about how I want to use the monthly view. I'm thinking possibly just putting an important date or putting in something. Another fun thing would be to put in something that happened every single day, whether it's good or bad, to just journal that way. So that's fun, thinking about doing that. Other than that, it's just like, you know, the basic stuff, like if there's somebody's birthday, um, Father's Day, but I think I'm going to do the note a day in here. It's enough space just to jot something down of like either the highlight of the day or what stood out to me that day. I'll have to go back into my planner pages a little bit. Um, I don't know if I can go all the way back to June 1st. I'll have to check back in my previous planner, which I was using my Stalogy that weekend. But, um, am I doing this right? Yes, okay, I am. When you're like halfway through something and then you're like, wait, is this right? But it is. So that's what I'm going to do is to go back into my planner and jot things down and turn this into a positive well could also be a gratitude log for this month monthly view that's another option fun fact I don't really use date stickers I'm used to just writing things in but since these are on the sticker sheet and they fit so perfectly and they coordinate with this page, why not use it? Almost done. So the first thing I'm going to put in is my, um, I'm going to put in the first day of summer, which is. I believe it's, it's either the 21st, I believe it's the 21st though, first day of summer, these 
stickers are like it's 21 it's crooked okay so it is the 21st oh and there's been um some other things that i can write in so and let summer begin i'm gonna put that on the 21st this is one of those stickers from the sticker sheet uh, this past Saturday. I just went and wrote in. I went to my old boss's retirement party. That was fun. Um, my sister's graduation. And my sister is graduating 10 years. She's graduating from high school 10 years after I have. So, ah, the memories. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I want to track inside of here. Um, I am gonna, I should put in that my grandma was on vacation. Um, I'm gonna put that in for today. The as I'm recording this, which is the 11th. I missed my grandma. I love my grandma so much. She is the best ever. So I'm just gonna pop that sticker there. And uh, let's see. I'm gonna put in on Friday, I had a date night. And then everything else I will just go in and fill in and I can fill in going forward from there. So that's what I'm gonna do with the monthly, just a little highlight section. But let me go ahead and write Ooh, but now I'm thinking that I'm going to swap this sticker. I'm going to put it back on the sticker sheet because I just saw this Hello Summer one. And this color scheme just goes a little bit better um, than to have a sticker with the same color. Not that it's the end of the world to have that, but uh, notorious for ripping stickers. But there we go. And I'm just going to put up here June 2019. And if I ever want to go in and cover that up with washi and use some other stickers, then so be it. Now, moving on to do this month um, special occasions, uh, Brianna. School graduation. I'll put that in. And then things I want to accomplish. <sighs> Consistency on YouTube. Full blog update. And then, oh, I know on the 5th it was my aunt's birthday. Um, and then also read a book. Mm. I'm putting in clean my office, clean my bedroom. and purge so those are the things that i want to do this month and this has nothing to do with anything else i have in my planner it's just um it's just personal goals and then over here i'm not sure 
I could put in what I accomplished. But then that's also at like the end of this. Um, favorite moments, things I'll never forget, intentions, things I learned, things I'm excited about, blah, blah, blah. But this is just like basic. All right. Then the other thing that I want to do is to go ahead and I have uh, books to read and a movies to see. I'm going to go ahead and pull up those lists that I have inside of here. So let's start with movies to see. So these are in no particular order, um, but Fast and Furious, Hobbs and Shaw, and then also Lion King is on that list. Let's see what else. Um, I also want to see Shaft and Aladdin and Toy Story 4. Look at all these Disney movies making a resurgence. I just realized, oh, okay, never mind. I was going to say, I put two movies, I put the same movie twice on my other list. And then Rocket Man. And then the last list is my reading list. The number one book is Calm the F Down. By Sarah Knight. And for this list, I'm just going with the um, the books that I've been wanting to read since the beginning of the year. When I first did my chaotic read. So yeah, Calm the F Down by Sarah Knight, Becoming Michelle Obama, um, Promise Me Dad by Joe Biden. I'm really interested in that one. Um... Wrestling's New Golden Age, which is going to be great for um, the podcast that I do with my brother. If you guys are interested, it's called The Half Right Podcast, and you can find it on, like, your favorite um, podcast platform. So right now, it's basically all wrestling, but the fall is coming. We're going to be doing um, other stuff. And... I'm just going to leave it with those four and then I can go in and add. Um, and then I'm trying to see if there's anything else on the list. So that was those two. And then places to eat, places to shop, nearby places to visit. I'll just fill that in along the way. But that is it for me starting to set this up. I have June, which I'm just going to do as a highlight. And I'm going to highlight the good and the bad. So the other thing I want to highlight here is that someone hit my car. It's a dent on it. And that was on the 5th. And I just feel like a little sad face there. Um... Do, 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 do. Uh, okay. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. All right, so I'll go back, figure out what other highlights I want to do for this. But that's my intent for the monthly. I'm going to do it month by month, and I'll fill things in. And then when the month is over, I will give you guys a full flip. So that wraps it up for this video. Thanks for tuning in. If you guys have any comments or suggestions on what I should do with the monthly going forward, let me know in the comments section below. Be sure to check out all the links in the description box. My blog is chaoticcritic.com. My Instagram is at chaoticcritic. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.